Hello children, welcome back to your science class. So, you all know we are learning the topic soil, which is chapter 9 of your NCRT textbook. Let us recall what we have learned till now. First, we have seen the introduction to soil. Second, we learned how soil plays a key role in supporting life on earth. Next, we learned different hori horizons of soil and up to what extent they possess the organic and inorganic materials within each layer of soil. And in the previous lesson or in the pre previous class, we learned different soil types and they are sandy soil, clay soil, silt soil and loamy soil. We learned their characteristics and also their uses. Today, let us first see what are the uses of soil. How and where do we use soil in our day-to-day -day life? Here is the list of few uses like agriculture, building, pottery, medicine, beauty products, etc. Agriculture. Agriculture. Soil has vital nutrients for plants. As a result, it is used, means soil is used in agriculture to nourish plants. Use of soil in building. Soil is an important part of the building process. Soil compact nature increases the density of the soil and which is done as the part of the building process. So children, soil can also be used as building material such as bricks, stones, etc. Use of soil in pottery. Pottery means uh, we mostly use the clay soil. Yes, clay soil is used in making ceramics or pottery. Any type of ceramic can be created with the clay soil such as a vase, a bowl, etc. Use of soil in medicine. In medical field also soil plays a key role. So soil is commonly used in antibiotics. Medicines created by soil include skin ointments, tuberculosis drugs and some anti-tumor drugs also. Use of soil in beauty products. Some beauty products are made with soil and uh, the soil uh, rich in clay can be used in uh, facial masks and sometimes toothpastes also. So these are some very few list of uh, uses a uh, list of very few uses of soil but uses of soil can be extended in many ways in our day to day life now after the uses um, where there is more focus uh, regarding soil is its compactness and the nutrient rich capacity of soil um, which made it more useful in daily life. We will now learn about different properties of soil. So first the soil texture. It is the feel when you touch it. It may be soft, hard, rocky, etc. It is different for each type of soil. And then comes the soil structure. The size, shape, also determines the types of type of that soil next comes the most important property that is the water holding capacity which is interdependent with the soil texture in this chapter we will understand soil properties mostly based on uh, water holding capacity of soil um, next comes the alkalinity or acidity which is based on the minerals, nutrients and water present in the soil. 
Consistence is another property where there could be mixture of soils or an area with quite uh, one soil type for an extended area. The consistency is also determined based on free of unnecessary particles in it. That means lesser the unnecessary particles like other um, glass materials etc. The consistency of the soil can be set used to describe which type of soil it is. So the color is the most common property for easy identification of the type of the soil. The color uh, based on the color mostly experts can say which kind of soil it is. Today we are going to learn one of the properties of soil based on the property we discussed that is the water holding capacity. Today we are learning percolation rate of water in soil. Let us first simplify the terms like percolation which means the process of liquid moving slowly through a substance that has an infiltration capacity in it. That means percolation in simple words means that filters the liquid which moves through it and uh, percolation is otherwise called inf infiltration and what is percolation rate it is the speed at which that moment of this uh, liquid means like the water the movement of this liquid occurs through that substance means it is the speed rate of speed percolation rate means and there is a formula to determine the percolation rate that is percolation rate is equal to amount of water run through the soil or sand or any substance by the time taken to the time taken for percolation so this is the formula used for uh, calculating the percolation rate Now let us perform an activity on percolation rate of water in soil. First you need three small pipes or cylindrical objects with open ends of approximately 5 cm diameter and 20 cm length. Now what you will do is you will place it in a place where you would like to test the Soil percolate, soil's percolation rate. Children, uh, we have to fix it properly that there should be no leakages at the ends. Means where the place it is fixed, there should be no loose ends. It should be fixed so tightly and properly. Now, in the next step, you will slowly pour 200 ml of water and do not forget to note the time when you start pouring the water and after the pipe uh, you fixed got emptied means you will start noting the time when uh, you start pouring the water and you will uh, note the time when the water in the pipe has been uh, get inside the ground or means the water in the pipe which you poured uh, the 200 ml water which you poured in the uh, pipe got emptied. At that time you will also note the time. Now you will repeat the experiment means the activity with the other pipes at different places or for different soil samples. And for each test you will now calculate the percolation rate by using the formula that is Percolation rate is equal to amount of water by percolation time. Here I have given a small example. Imagine for a soil sample you have collected the amount of water you poured is 200 ml and 
the time taken for the pipe to get emptied is 20 minutes. Then the percolation rate will be 10 milliliter per minute. We can do this activity based on our convenience that is in our laboratory or even at home. All we need is a um, few paper cups, soil samples, filter paper, it can be any paper, any thin paper, funnels, uh, exactly measured uh, vessels like any bottle of 100 ml or 200 ml you can take and water quantity you should uh, calculate it beforehand and uh, you need a watch or a stopwatch these are the materials required now we will first keep holes to the bottom of each paper cup uh, in the materials we have discussed that we will take the paper cups yes now you will uh, keep holes to this paper cup uh, with equal number and equal distance for all the cups means for all the soil samples you are testing and in the cups you are taking them they should have the equal number of holes with equal number uh, with equal distance on each cup means the ho holes should be of equal distance in each cup and now uh, you will use a thin paper like filter paper or at home you can use a paper towel to cover the bottom of each cup. Now uh, place the cups on a funnel which is resting on the top of a measuring jar. Okay children. Now label each cup with different names as you have used different soil samples in each cup for your convenience. Now measure 100 ml or some amount of water that you have exactly measured and that can support the weight for the paper cups and the soil samples you have collected. It can be some range between 100 ml to uh, 200 to 250 ml for this experiment. Now you will pour this and pour it into the paper cup and you will start recording the time when you start pouring the water. And you will also record the time when you see the dripping of water is seen from the funnel. That means the it is the percolation time. Now uh, repeat the same experiment for other soil samples also and check the difference for the percolation rate for each of the soil sample. So this is how the activity can be done at home or in a laboratory where different samples of soil are taken in different cups and their percolation rate is measured. So that is for today's class. We have learned the experiment to uh, find out the per percolation rate of the soil. Yes. Now for in to, uh, according to today's class experiment you have some home assignments and they are first you have to understand this activity and you should perform it at home if you can. Okay children there is no compulsion for your but better understanding understand this activity which we have just discussed and try to perform it at home. It is not that difficult to perform if you can you can do it with the help and guidance of your parents. Now the second question is um, you have to calculate the percolation rate by using the formula we learned in today's class. And the last question is which types of soil has the highest and which type has the lowest percolation rates and why? You will study the different soil types characteristics and according to that you will answer this question. 
go through the previous class understand the characteristics of each soil type and there you can understand which soil holds more water and which soil filters water comparatively to the other soil types thank you children see you in the next class